Today's episode is going to be about what is narcissistic supply? What is supply? What is narcissistic supply? The word that a lot of people hear that is consistently thrown around in the world of narcissistic abuse, toxic relationships, uh, toxic abuse and things of that nature. So, so narcissistic supply. This is the, the, the textbook definition of, or the definition you're going to see on Google. If you Google the phrase, it says narcissistic supply refers to the constant supply of attention and admiration needed by narcissists. Attention and admiration. So for me, as a diagnosed narcissist, validation. So attention and admiration are akin or equivalent to validation. It's just like I need that validation. I need that I need that attention, that admiration, and special treatment and things of that nature because I am me. You know, I am me. I need it. I need people to validate my existence. I need people to validate the reason that I'm here. I need people to validate, like my life in general i need i absolutely need that and most if not all narcissists need narcissistic supply and this is the thing i get a lot this is the thing that gets a lot of people caught up right here a lot of people think it's just only attention and admiration that supplies a narcissist or that validates a narcissistic person and then it has to come from a significant other or a spouse that's why I think people just they, they kind of close it off at it being something that comes from a significant other or from a par- partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, spouse or whatever. But narcissistic supply, y'all validation can come from I said, it doesn't have to necessarily only be that right there. It can be also come from the kids like narcissists can get validation from having exceptional kids, from having kids that are smart, from having kids that are super athletic, from having kids that are, you know, you have like models and, you know, famous kids, like social media, like you can get, you can get that validation and that supply from having kids that support, that support it. You know what I mean? Living, living vicariously through your children can be a form of getting narcissistic supply and validation. Like I, I'm validated through them because they wouldn't be here without me. So it's because they couldn't, they, because they wouldn't be here without me. That means that what they do and what they're accomplished is because of me. So I'm validated through that. You see how it, it's just, it, yeah, I'm just telling you it's mental gymnastics, like narcissistic supplies, validation, you know, need their needs being met validation. I know, I know people think need, when I say needs, people automatically think food, water, shelter. Those are the main needs. Narcissist, food, water, shelter, validation. <laughs> food, water, shelter, validation, and things of like that. They need validation. They need to be validated. They need that. They just need, yeah. I'm just telling you. And it can be like money can money can validate narcissistic people. There's different forms of narcissistic supply. It is like you know, it's food, shelter, uh, food, water, water, food, shelter, and narcissistic supply. That's what I mean. I didn't mean validation. No, f- food, water, shelter, and narcissistic supply. And supply can be a different, a few different things, y'all. Supply could be um, money, y'all. Narcissistic narcissists can get some pl- get supply and validation through a, the, the, through an accumulation of wealth or the pursuit of wealth. You know what I mean? They can do that. A lot of narcissists and toxic people can absolutely pursue, have this pursuit of wealth and things along those lines because that's what they want, y'all. Like, if I have a lot of money, I can get, a, I can get unlimited attention. Even I know, even though I think people only want me for, around for money and things like that, I still get that unlimited attention. I still get that that feeling. I still get that. You know, what I mean? I, it's still there for me. I still have it. You know, so that right there is a is a part of it as well. You know. That right there is a part of it as well. That right there is how it goes. Like they need that supply. They need that attention. They need that validation. They need it. They need it. They need it. They can get it from a few different sources. And as long like the relationship with a narcissistic person, yeah, whatever the relationship is, like they get that supply. Like as long as they're getting supply, they typically don't cut people off. Whatever form of supply that a narcissist gets from you, as long as that that spigot, that faucet, <laughs> I say spigot, it's the old, that's the North Carolina slang right there, that old spigot. Um, as long as that faucet is turned on and the, it, the supply is flowing, they'll stay around you. But when that supply starts to run up, when, it, when that supply 
starts to get drained, when that supply starts to run out or whatever it is, starts to run low or it doesn't feel the same anymore, that supply doesn't feel the same anymore, they typically try to discard you, get rid of you. Yeah? They, they seek that supply from someone else. They seek that same source of supply that they, they're getting from you. It could be emotional supply, y'all. It could be financial supply. It could be just like, y y you make me look good supply. Like supply is supply, y'all. Validation, admiration. Like go think about that. What? Ask yourself this right here. Like how do, how do I get a narcissist to leave me alone? Cut off the supply. Turn off the spigot. Damn it up. You see what I'm saying? It's just like a river. As long as the river of supply flows to that narcissistic person, they tend to not want to leave you alone. So sometimes you have to, you know, I've said this before, y'all, you have to dam up the river of supply. Once you turn that supply off, they tend to leave you alone. You know, they know you still have the supply, so they might not leave you alone, but ten, when you take away whatever they're getting from you, then yeah, they tend to leave you alone or, or they tend to seek it out elsewhere. It doesn't, it's not a guarantee that they leave you alone. If you turn out, if like, if you give, if they're, you giving them financial support or financial supply and you turn that off, Yo, yeah, they'll beg, plead, kick, scream, cry, it's not coming out, it's not coming out of their nose. They'll do all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, like, they'll go seek for somebody else. Like, you get a lot of bum, narcissistic people who only seek out money. Like, they don't want to work. They don't want to, they, they literally want other people to, to support them. And this is just, this is not just a, yo, know, gender based thing. Y'all, this could be men, women, non binary folks can seek out people with money to take care of them. It's not just one gender. I know people are like, well, just the women narcissists. No. There's a lot of bum male narcissist, male presenting narcissistic people out there that will seek out people to take care of them. You know, they just will. They will absolutely will. They'll seek out people to take care of them. They'll seek out people to help them out. They'll seek out people to take advantage of. They'll seek out that supply. Like when it, like I said, when your supply is running dry or running out, they'll try to find somebody who can supply them with equal or greater supply than what you were, you know? That's what it, that's that's what happens a lot of times in these spaces, y'all. And that's why I try to con I try to convey that to a lot of people. I want to convey that to a lot of people. I I really really do, because the the fact of the matter goes like you're dealing with a narcissistic person. Cut off the supply. If you want to get them to leave you be, cut off the supply. If you want to get them to leave you alone, cut off the supply. If you want the chance, let me say that like, if you want the chance of them leaving you alone, cut off that narcissistic supply. Stop giving them money. Stop giving them attention. Stop validating. You know, stop validating their toxicity. Stop validating their emotion. I'm just telling you. Be, of course, use discretion, y'all, because some people will try to harm you or hurt you for turning off the supply, for turning off the the spigot or whatever. You know what I mean some people will absolutely do that. They just will. They will absolutely try try to hurt, hurt you or harm you for turning off that narcissistic supply. They don't want that right there. You know. So you have to prepare. You have to be as strong as you possibly can. You have to do what you need to do in order to get, you know, in order to take your power back. You know what I mean? In order to take your strength back, in order to have that right there, you have to do what you need to do. And so I don't think a lot of people see that. A lot of people realize that. But that's part of the space. That's part of the dynamic that exists when you're dealing with narcissistic people, y'all. Turn off the supply. Turn off the supply. Like I said, like, it's, it's hard if... You are the child of a narcissist, especially if you're not an adult, to turn off the supply that they get from you because they're living vicariously through you and then you want to make them proud. So it's hard to do it as a kid, but as an adult, you have more, a little bit more leverage and power. You should. You should. Sometimes they set it, sometimes they set it up. So even as an adult, you're dependent upon them. So be very weary, y'all. That's what I'm just saying. Like, whatever the supply is, y'all. Think about this space right here. Like, what am, what am I, what, what, I don't know what type of supply they're getting from me, Lee. Sometimes the supply, y'all, the validation, can't just be you making them look normal, making them fit, helping them fit into society. Think about it right there, y'all. Sometimes the supply is just your presence. Like if you're my husband or you're my wife, like, and you, or you, my children, you just validate my existence because now I have a family. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm married with kids. That's the family. I got a job, married with kids. Girl, graduated in college. Now I look, look like a normal human being. So the form of supply they can get be getting from you is just to look normal. It's just to be able to present themselves into the world as a normal, air quotes, normal person. You know, normal, everybody's definition of normal is gonna be different, y'all. You know? <laughs> I ask people, people, people in my comments actually ask me, asking me like, do you not ever want to be normally? I'm like, what does normal mean to y'all? What is normal? You know, define normal. 
Give me, tell me what normal is. Tell, tell, tell me what normal is. Give me, give me your definition of normal. Let's, let's go with it from there. You know, it's a very unique space to be in, y'all. That's why I'm just saying, like, whatever supply that they are getting from you, find a way to turn it off. Find a way to turn off the spigot. Find a way to move forward without them. Or just, you know, like I say, it might hurt their image. It might hurt their pride or their ego. But you have to find a way to cut it, I mean, cut, to, to end it that way. Because if you don't, I'm just telling you, they're going to take advantage of you. They're going to get you. They're going to do whatever it takes. They're going to do whatever it takes for them to feel good about themselves. They're going to do whatever it takes for them to feel happy, to feel happy and re- to feel happy and malign and stuff like that. They're going to keep doing that, y'all. They just are, you know. But so you have to find that balance. You have to find that peace because if you don't, buckle your safety belt up, y'all, because they're going to take advantage of you. They're literally going to take advantage of you and run you through the dirt. They just, they, I promise you they are. And it doesn't, it does not get better in those circumstances. It does not get better in that space. It just doesn't, you know, so you have to validate yourself, validate yourself, you, 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 you supply yourself and take the, take the supply away from the narcissistic person. Because the more you supply them, the harder it is going to be for you to get rid of them. Y'all, the more, the greater the supply, the greater the supply they get from you, the less likely they are to leave you alone the more likely that they are to go, you know, like, <clears throat> again, y'all, there's different forms of narcissistic supply. It could be their job. Their job could be their supply. Their, like I said, their kids could be their supply. Their money could be their supply. Whatever it takes, you know, for them to fit in and be normal or get validation or admiration or special treatment, that's a form of supply, y'all. Their status, there's, you know, there's that stuff right there could be a form of supply. You know, once you cut the supply off, they, if they do want, like, you know, they ask yourself this question right here. Y'all, I'll, I'll end it with this. They figure out what form of supply that they're getting from you. Ask yourself what, if you remove, what, what can you remove from this space that will make them act differently? If I leave, will they act differently? If I stop giving them money, will they act differently? If I stop doing this for them, will they act differently? If you're the boss and they're using a job as, you know, supply, if I fire them, will they act differently? You see what I'm saying? What is the, that's how you figure out what, for, what supply that they're getting from you. Ask yourself, if, what if, if I cut this off, how would they act? If this got cut off, how would they act? How would they behave? You know what I mean? It's a very unique dynamic to be in, y'all. I know this video will run on longer than what I'm sorry, I'm making, I'm sorry, increasing the length of my videos a little bit here, y'all. Um, if you made it this far, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people. And click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.